Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the last section, I have explained how do you produce high voltage DC by using high voltage rectifier. That is one of the method. Today we will be explaining the second method that is known as Van de Graaff generator. Let us see what is Van de Graaff generator. Let us have a brief introduction. What, what do you mean by Van de Graaff generator? So Van de Graaff generator is basically one of the electrostatic generator. Electrostatic generator. One of the electrostatic generator. It is also known as particle accelerator. Particle accelerator. Furthermore, it is possible to generate the voltage up to 5 megavolt. Okay, 5 megavolt DC. Over 5 megavolt DC can be generated by using Van de Graaff generator. That's a basic idea about Van de Graaff generator. Now let us see what are the working principles of Van de Graaff generator. Working principles. Working principles. What are the main working principles of Van de Graaff generator? There are two working principles basically. First one is discharging will be taken place. Discharge or discharging you can write anything. Discharge takes place at sharp corner. Sharp edge or sharp corner. That is true fact. Second one is whenever or when charged conductor brought when charged conductor is brought inside hollow conductor inside the hollow conductor then charges distributes outside hollow conductor outside the hollow conductor these are the basic working principles of van de graaff generator first one discharges taking place at the sharp edge or sharp corner second one when charged conductor is brought inside the hollow conductor charges will be distributed outside the hollow conductor these are the basic working principles of van de graaff generator now let us see how does it operate All of you please copy the diagram first. Let us see the operation. Let us see the operation. First I want to introduce two electrodes. There are two electrodes. First one is HV electrode. And second one is LV electrode. Low voltage electrode. I need to figure out where is HV electrode. As you can see. This is high voltage electrode. See, I have my, I have, please observe my path. This is actually high voltage electrode. Now, where is low voltage electrode? This one is low voltage electrode. See, this is low voltage electrode. Okay. Now, this high voltage electrode, where is high voltage electrode? This one. This is high voltage electrode. That will act as a hollow conductor. This one will be act as a hollow conductor. Hollow, hollow conductor. Where? This LV electrode that will act as a charged conductor. Charged conductor. This one. This is LV electrode that will act as a charged conductor. Alright. Moreover, the structure of charged conductor. Charged conductor. You can see the charged conductor. Charged conductor. It comprises of. It consists of. Uh, it, it, is, it is having two segments. One is pulley. Metal pulley. These are the two metal pulleys. P1 and P2. Pulley. Pulleys and silk belt. Silk belt. Pulleys and silk belt. This actually pulleys have been connected with the help of silk belt. Pulley. These are the pulleys. P1 as well as P2 that has been connected with the help of a silk belt. Alright. This is a structure of LV electrode. HV electrode as well as LV electrode. Now what you are supposed to do is you are actually providing DC supply. You are actually providing the DC supply 
uh, at the low spray point at the low spray point where pulley 2 is connected this is pulley 1 and this will be pulley 2 you are providing the high voltage dc source at the low spraying point here you know uh, this pull these pulleys are connected with the help of a motor these pulleys are operating with the help of a motor almost uh, it will be operating up to the speed of 1000 rpm to 3000 rpm it will be continuously rotating that means whenever you are applying dc source uh, electric field will be generating here here electric field will be generating so as you know these pulleys are operated with the help of a motor it will be rotating continuously uh, there is a to and from motion i have shown up and down motion continuously it will be operating uh, with the due to that operation what will happen the charges will be distributed from lower end of the pulley to upper end of the pulley continuously the charges that means uh, in the, this is internal conductor basically charges will be distributing from lower end of the pulley to upper end of the pulley through the silk belt charges will be transferring in this manner so whenever in this become as a internal conductor internal conductor charged internal conductor that is bringing inside the hollow conductor this is hollow conductor you can observe my path when charged conductors are moving inside the hollow conductor what is going to happen the entire charges will be distributing see entire charges you can see the positive 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 the entire charges will be distributing uh, outside the hollow conductor that means uh, this will act as a high voltage electrode and this become low voltage electrode there is a huge potential difference between these two segments huge potential difference high voltage electrode and next one is low voltage electrode there is a huge potential difference that means a high voltage dc will be generated uh, at the segment so you can generate over 5 megavolt dc so that is a peculiarity of uh, van de graaff generator uh, the, there is one of safe there is one of the thing the outer covering you can see the outer covering that is actually earth enclosure that is providing suitable earthing so this is a whole structure and a brief operation of van de graaff generator moreover you can just calculate the potential of high voltage electrode the potential you can calculate the potential you can calculate the potential of high voltage electrode rate of rate of change of voltage with respect to time okay rate of rise of voltage can be calculated with the high voltage electrode that is given by uh, dv by dt dv by dt okay this is dv by dt as you know that here you can calculate the dv by dt here what is the value of voltage how to calculate the voltage so as you know that the charge charge is given by c into v where uh, c is known as capacitance v is the voltage okay q is equal to c into v so here you can calculate here you can calculate v v can be calculated c how to calculate v v equal to q divided by c q divided by c so how to write uh, q q means current into current into type q q means current into type i uh, will be writing i into t divided by c that means v this is the expression for v v i can write in this manner so directly you can substitute over here that means uh, d by dt of d by dt of i t divided by c i t divided by c that means that means i by c i by c i and c will be taken outside then dt by dt dt by dt means 1 that means uh, dv by dt dv by dt is equal to dv by dt is equal to i by c dv by dt equal to I by C. So voltage at the HV electrode. Voltage at the HV electrode. I'll be writing here. dV by dt means I by C. I divided by C. dV by dt means I by C. It's a final expression. That means rate of change of voltage with respect to time that is depending on I and C. Okay. This is a basic, uh, basic expression for uh, rate of change of voltage with respect to time uh, at the high voltage electrode. This is a basic operation, basic principle of basic principle of operation of Van de Graaff generator. Now let us figure out what are the applications, what are the main applications of Van de Graaff generator. Main applications. main applications first one is it is mainly used for nuclear physics nuclear physics lot of experiment can be conducted for the nuclear physics one of the new opening for research and development lot of uh, 
applications are there for the nuclear physics. Second one is, it can be mainly used for driving X-ray tube. Driving, driving X-ray tube. This is another important application in the biomedical engineering field. Similarly, in health and health area, in health, health and medical area also it can be used. That is accelerate electrons, accelerate electrons to sterilize, to sterilize food and process. Food and process. That means health, 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 health department. It can be used in health department also. These are the various applications of Van de Graaff generator. I hope you could understand what is Van de Graaff generator. What are the main working principle of Van de Graaff generator? How does Van de Graaff generator operate? With the help of a diagram, we explained. Thereafter, uh, one the expression, mathematical expression. What is the rate of rise of voltage at high voltage electrode dv by dt that i express in terms of i and c dv by dt is equal to i divided by c thereafter i explain what are the applications what are, i listed out what are the applications of van de Graaff generator okay thanks for watching this video please share and subscribe thanks a lot